Hello, I'm Lizette, and in this video I will show you how to unbreak a PSP Go. First, as you can see, this PSP is running a custom firmware at the moment, the 6.61 LMA 2.3 permanent version of this custom firmware. First, we're going to turn off the PSP Go using the shutdown command. Next, we will use our variant sweeper, which I have already connected via USB to my PC. And then we're going to use this Baron Sweeper to unbreak or, well, flash the 6.61 firmware to this PSP. On the PC, we're going to need the software Pi Sweeper. And in Pi Sweeper, we'll have to select the correct port. For me, this would be port 4. Then I press Start Servers. You can see it's using the serial FFFFFFF, which is the Pandora serial, so basically for unbreaking the device. And uh, let's get started. I connect my my Baron Sweeper to my PSP Go. It's a bit hard to do with one hand, but once I put it in, it should automatically boot. There we go, it should automatically boot. And as you can see, it is booting Azure Ray, version 0 0.1 by Davey. It detects my correct model, it's on the PSP Go, with the TA91 motherboard and the fifth generation. If I press X, we're gonna start the flashing process. Oh, also, if you press L, you can toggle between the detailed mode and the simplified mode. The simplified mode is this orange one. It will only do uh, show you the most important steps, such as checking the firmware files and so on, mounting memory stick. But if we uh, switch over to the de detailed mode, we will be able to see that uh, it does a lot more once it actually finished checking the firmware file. And as I said, Azure Ray will be able to unbrick your PSP Go if it happens to be bricked. So if you screwed up in the past, did something wrong with the PSP, installed something you shouldn't have installed, or if it simply lost the battery or turned off while you were updating the firmware, your PSP will be bricked. In the past, you could only unbrick the PSP 1000 and most of the PSP 2000 models. Then there was a breakthrough where we could also unbreak the PSP 3000, the oldest version, and the until then doomed PSP 2000 with the TA88 version 3 motherboard. But now, thanks to Azure Ray, we can unbreak every single PSP model that exists. Every single retail model is able to be unbreaked with this software, Azure Ray. Keep in mind, this variant sweeper here that I have has the PSP Go connector. So this one is only for the PSP Go. There are two different versions of this Baron Sweeper av available. One is for the PSP E1000, also called PSP Street, which has a mini or micro USB head, one of the two. And the other one is uh, a battery shaped uh, Baron Sweeper, which supports the PSP 1000, 2000, and 3000. And for the PSP 3000 and 2000, it supports every single model. So it supports the hackable 2000 and the so-called unhackable 2000. And it supports all four different variations of the PSP 3000. So the 3G, 4G, 7G, and 9G. If you combine the Baron Sweeper with the Pi Sweeper software and our Ash Array, then we will be able to unbreak every single PSP. And I hope Ash Array is about to be done. Oh yeah, if you switch back to the simplified mode, you can see it's, uh, after checking the updater, it's reading the PSR file, petitioning stuff, flashing files, and so on. And once it's done, it should say done, press X to reboot. And if you switch back to the other mode, over here you can see it's still the green, done, press X to reboot. This should hopefully reboot the PSP. If it doesn't, it should at least turn it off. And then you can manually turn it on if it doesn't automatically reboot. But I think it should reboot. And there we go, it is booting. And, oh yeah, this is a Japanese PSP, that's why it's default to Japanese language and so on, but that doesn't matter. And there we go. It restored the system so software on the PSP, and now the running version 6.61. This is the official Sony firmware, so if your PSP had a brick, was unusable, and the software was well, until now, irreversibly damaged, you can now use Ash Ray to unbreak the PSP Go. 
This also works on PSP Street, PSP 3000, PSP 2000, and a PSP 1000. It works on every single device. Keep in mind, you will need a dedicated hardware variant sweeper for the PSP 3000, E1000, and the PSP Go. On the PSP 1000 and 2000, you can also use the old standard Pandora battery. This is only doable thanks to Davey, his hard work and dedication for the PSP scene. Once again, Azure Ray is supporting every single device. So happy unbreaking everyone. I'm DZ and see you soon.